What's up guys? Today we are taking a tour of Old Colorado City on the west side of Colorado Springs. Now this neighborhood was established in 1859, so we have a lot to take a look at here. Old Colorado City is one of the most historic places in Colorado Springs. Now we do have a lot of places where people come for, you know, to be tourists, super touristy place, right? We have Manatee Springs, we've got Garden of the Gods. We have all these really cool places that people like to come and visit. Well, Old Colorado City is definitely one of them. Now there's so much character and charm in this neighborhood. I'm right here in the heart of old Colorado City and there's a lot of cars driving by so you'll have to excuse the noise but lots of different things to do some shops a ton of really cool restaurants you can buy a lot of unique things here we're gonna give you a quick tour around the area this place is you know very historic a lot of really interesting things like this glass blowers shop I mean look at those You have this really cute ice cream shop and I love the ice cream here in this spot. It's so traditional, old fashioned. The walkability here is pretty amazing. So if you live in one of these houses up here, obviously you can walk down to town. You do have to go a little bit further for grocery shopping, but it's totally worth it if you like this type of lifestyle. Real charming and traditional place to live. So you can see the houses up behind me. This is Jake and Tully's restaurant. It's a Greek tavern restaurant. It's actually really amazing food, real Greek food. So if you're a foodie, then you're definitely going to love this area because there's so many different types of authentic foods to try. From here, um, there's like all these little tiny shops where people tend to make their own jewelry. They'll make their own handbags and things like that and just sell them down here. Clothing across the street. And the street that is right here is Colorado. It's a pretty busy street as you can see. And then you have all these little shops here. And they do a lot of festivities and festivals down here. So like during, you know, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Christmas is pretty decked out down here it'll be decorated and lit up um, you can kind of see some of the decorations but this looks amazing at nighttime just a lot of really unique uh, gift shops stuff that you won't find in town so a lot of these houses are gonna be a lot older they're not going to have garages, or if they do, they're kind of tucked away in the back of the house, which can be good and bad. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a bad thing, but very cute little historic neighborhood. Like the parking isn't the greatest. Everyone's parked on the side streets, and then there's a lot of different alleyways, but you do have these really nice big trees. Depending on how you look at it, that could be a pro or a con. Because if they're not evergreen trees, then you're going to be doing a lot of raking. So um, I love, though, how the trees come over in over the streets. It just looks really cool, like in the springtime when everything comes back to life, all the trees and everything. But the houses here just have a lot of character. So one thing to note is 
There's a lot of squirrels because there's a lot of trees. If you don't mind the squirrels, then I guess it's not a big deal. Everyone's got their own little fences, however they want to put them up. Um, they paint their houses the way that they want to paint them. Another alley. Let's just walk down this alley. Usually they'll like cut through to the other side of the street and then a lot of time the garages will be back here. You can pretty much do what you want on your property as long as you're being respectful and following city ordinances. And there's a lot of businesses. People will run their business out of their homes or their little shops. And a lot of times these properties will have another little cottage on the back side of the house, which is neat. So really cool mountain views and just a really cute neighborhood to live in. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more about Colorado Springs, then make sure you watch the next video that's popping up on the screen. For a list of available homes in the area, make sure that you check the description underneath the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.